Hello, dear friend. Welcome back to the channel. I missed you. Do you guys know about zombies? Yes, zombies, that overused genre that gets completely abused by movies, video games, my left ass cheek probably. So you know what we're gonna be doing today? We're gonna be checking out a shitty little uh, zombie game that I found on Steam for like five dollars. It's called The Oregon Trail. It's based off of that, that old shitty Oregon Trail game that nobody likes. And you know what I love just about as much as zombies? Old bad games. So you know what? I'm gonna have a whale of a time here. Now of course we're at the difficulty selection here. And a normal person would pick normal or difficult if they're feeling extra spicy that day. But you know, I'm no pussy so we're just gonna pick suicide. Alright, so we can play the intro, get a little bit of world building here. You know, because there's extensive lore to this game. It's a very deep and methodical game, you know. So here we are at a little fort and we're we're being attacked. I guess I'll die then. Uh, nope. We got an old man here to save the day. I've been saved by this old bitch. That's depressing. Alright, what's my name? Uh, what's the name of my party? Hold on, let me, let me tell you. There we go. Perfect. We're the dick and balls gang. Alright, so here we are in our 1993 Ford Pinto with some random man that I've never met before. And right off the bat, the old man falls over and cracks his arm open. We're off to a great start here. Oh my god, this old man has a resilience of a of a goddamn hands, hamster. Did I throw him into a horde or something? Did I push him out of the car? How? Alright, so we gotta stock up on stuff. Alright, so maybe fuel is the way to go. Maybe we should just go all into fuel. Yeah, that seems smart. That seems smart. And you know, since we don't have any food or anything, we can just like... Drink the gas. I mean, it powers the car, why can't it power us, you know? Chainsaw windows. I want that on my actual car, what? <laughs> well, that's right, we have no food. Oh, this was a great idea. Everyone's slowly starving to death, but there's nothing happening to me. What the hell am I eating? We used to have 32 cans. Looks like I've, looks like I've been being smart and drinking the gasoline. Found a backpack with some can- No, there's food! We we're supposed to eat and penis when he dies. Oh, we're out of food. Oopsie. <laughs> well, uh, I'm still not starving or anything. I'm completely fine. Um, we don't have anything to trade for. We need to trade for a tire. I guess you can't repair a tire with gas, which is dumb in my opinion, but oh well. Still gonna go suicide because I'm not a fucking pussy. Alright, so this time I won't put everything into fuel. Alright, so we're back on the road again with the entire gang. Dick and balls and cock and nuts and penis are all here, and it's just a grand old time. I'm gonna slap nuts. You see the grave of some poor soul buried at the side of the road. Will you stop to look? Depends. Can we do some grave robbing? You'll have three things. Guns, booze, and video games. And I think that's like someone's actual like tombstone that they wrote when they died in this game, which is pretty cool, honestly. That's not cool. <laughs> Whoops. And penis trains wouldn't... just need to get to Pittsburgh. Are you kidding? Fuck, it's just like Pittsburgh. It's always raining. And nuts gets mauled by a wild dog. Fucking bitch. 
I could beat a dog with my nuts. All right, we finally made it to Pittsburgh. I don't know why anyone would want to come to Pittsburgh. I mean, look at this. This looks horrible. I came here willingly. That's so weird. All right, we are on the next leg of our journey, but we'll get there. I'm sure of it. Oh, you must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of you is currently massive in size and appears to be alert. Well, uh, hit and run. I mean, you can attempt to sneak through. How did they not notice? And suddenly you find yourself surrounded by zombies. Is this karma for what we did back there? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I have to actually, I have no ammo. I'll grab your butt cheeks and pull out my willy. Stir your asshole oh. like a oh, this sucks. Oh, we're out of food. Who's, who's eating all the food? And nuts on the broken arm. God damn it. He's almost dead. Oh, great. My god, no longer is cholera. And he got something else. Alright, so can we just like sell our friend here? Okay, I think what we need right now is some bullets so we can actually like shoot some things. Oh, some food. Amazing. What the? Why was he so fast? Well, uh, that sucks. Anyways, let's go. Uh, we're out of food. Didn't I grab some food? Who's eating all the food? Probably Ann Penis right here. Hold on. All right. Ann Penis has to go. Fuck you! There we go. And of course, Ann Cock is... We're losing Ann Cock. We have to trade for a muffler now? Are you kidding? Oh, and balls is also gone. <gasps> yeah, take the f take the fuel. All right, we're back on the road, boys. All right, well, uh, I'm the only one left. Well, there's nothing to buy, so I guess we'll just head out into the world and die. We're out of fuel. Or I'm out of fuel. There's no we anymore. You know what, maybe, maybe we'll try scavenging for one. Alright, well we found something. We found a scrap. Not what we needed, but okay. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna slowly wither away and die again. That's okay. Three fuel for six scrap? Dude, that's a steal! Are you kidding? I feel bad. I ripped this guy off. Yeah, you should probably try scavenging for food. Being the absolute survival expert that I am. I have no ammo. And I'm dead, aren't I? <laughs> now that was a tragic and heartbreaking story of Dick and his time in the zombie apocalypse. And I must say, I was quite moved. I was quite moved by such a, by such a powerful story. I'm gonna miss that man. I really am. He changed my life forever. Anyway, it's time to go back to jacking off or something.